Working on the uh, on the Eon 615 project was was a lot of fun, and uh, being able to make the the product sound as good as we possibly could make it sound was a challenge, and it was pretty rewarding in the end. What the pattern control aperture does on the Eon 615 product is by pinching in on the sides, it allows that woofer to have 90 degree coverage, which you, do, you don't get on a 15 inch woofer without an aperture. Being able to, to use a fluted aperture to prevent some of the sound anomalies that can happen if you use like a slot. By using the pattern control aperture that we have on the EN615, we're able to, to uh, moderate that pattern on the woofer. So at the crossover frequency, the woofer actually has a 90 by 60 pattern just like the horn does. And what it means is you've got this seamless directivity transition between these two drivers that uh, whether you're on axis, whether you're off axis, you're going to hear the same thing. You're going to have intelligibility that you can't get any other way. The waveguide geometry, the uh, image control waveguide that's used on the uh, high frequency driver is the same map that's used on the JBL M2 uh, studio monitor and the other studio monitor products that are coming out of JBL Professional nowadays. And the same results that you get in a studio monitor is the same benefit that it delivers into a portable PA product you can have a portable PA product that sounds really, really good. And as much like a studio monitor as a portable PA product can sound, it does. And, and this is why.